Hey friends, it's Kari from the Alfred Homestead and today we are sharing with you a quick DIY small animal tractor. All the materials we used will be linked in the description box below. You're going to need some 2x4s, some 2x2s, some braces to stabilize the corners a bit, some hardware, some tools, wire mesh for the perimeter and the bottom, and some sort of roofing material like this tin roofing material. This is very adaptable to your needs depending on the type of animal that you're going to use. So that will determine what type of wire mesh that you will want or what type of roofing or how much roofing or siding that you will want. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to start with creating the sides first. And my husband is just going to take a, an eight foot long two by four. And those are gonna form the lengths of the tractor. What he's doing is he is leaving about a foot on either side so that we can attach tires to it later. Tires will help make sure that it's super easy to move every day. You don't want to have to be moving a tractor and dragging it through pasture. That is just backbreaking work. This way you can have wheels on it so you can pull it with your tractor or even by hand. We decided to have a two foot high tractor. Again, determine how high you want your tractor based on the type of animal. If it's quail, you might not need to have a two foot high tractor, or you can use chickens and you might want it a little bit higher than two feet. This tractor will be used for rabbits, so we figured two feet was adequate enough space. All right, and we're putting these braces here. You can buy some at the store. We just go ahead and make them with the spare leftover wood that we have because why not? <laughs> so there you have it. That's one side that's complete and we'll just have to make another side identical to that. All right, and there we have both sides. So now we'll go ahead and connect those two sides with the two by twos. Now the two by fours will be at the bottom and then the two by twos will be at the top. And then again, getting all of your braces just to help make sure that the structure is stabilized a bit better. So now this is the top that we're looking at. Again, we're just connecting the two sides with the two by two. And this is all scrap material, you guys. I've mentioned it before, but we fund all of our DIY projects with pallet woods or just reclaimed wood. So none of this was bought. You can just use whatever wood that you have on hand, however you can make it work. That's the great thing about these projects is that you can customize it based on just the materials that you have on hand. So really the only cost to this whole project was the wire mesh that surrounds the perimeter and the roofing, whatever roofing that you wanna use. So this project probably only cost about $50. So this is a six by three tractor. It's more than enough to have at least a dozen rabbits and probably about a dozen chickens as well if that's what you were to use it for. All right, and there is the basic frame. Now we'll make the top. So this is gonna be the top. We wanna have an opening that we can use. That way we have easy access to our animals. So we're just making the top lid and we're going to connect this again with some braces to help stabilize it and some hinges and it helps when you've got a couple of hands just to keep things steady um, this was a great family project even the girls could help out with just holding things in place while daddy screwed it in okay so this is where we're at now we have our basic structure with the lid to make things easy on us now we'll go ahead and just take the wire mesh and we're just gonna staple gun it. Um, this is obviously going to help make things quicker and easier, more efficient than any other way to do it. Um, it goes, it's just a bit tedious. <laughs> Again, it helps when you have two people to help stabilize um, the wire mesh because it can be kind of finicky to work with. And then my husband is just going to go back in with the grinder to help smoothen out those edges. You can see the edges 
we're kind of poking out, but we want to be safe. We don't want to have cut little fingers or anything like that. So the grinder helps in that case. It's just extra. You don't have to. So he's taking the staple gun again to secure the roofing material. We just have some tin roofing material. It cost about $25 a sheet, and that's about how much we used here for the top. And we will also be putting some on the sides as well. And just to make our lives that much easier, we went ahead and used one of those extra braces as a handle because that always helps. Again, anything that can make our lives easier is a go. And use whatever siding you have. We've even used tarps when we haven't had anything else. Um, and you can use more or less. And now here we're just gonna drill on one side. On that extra space we left, we're just gonna drill into that so we can put some bolts in. That way we have a place to put the tires. And on the other side we will do the same thing, but we'll be putting a rope through it instead. That way we can attach that to a tractor to pull this tractor. Or you can pull it by hand. It's, it's really not that heavy at all. So this is the final product. I hope you guys found that interesting and gave you some, some inspiration on how you can make a small animal tractor for yourselves. Well, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.